So if you want to know how Benny X makes crazy beats and samples in the style of Travis Scott and Drake, this is the perfect video for you. Yo guys, what's up and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how Benny X makes crazy beats and samples in the style of Travis Scott and Drake. So first of all, I'm going to show you all the sample. Then after that, I will show you how I made the sample and how I like made these simple patterns and how I built the sample together. The sample is three different parts. So yeah, make sure to stay till the end. It's really important because you have like a whole transition from like an intro to like the main part for like the hook and then a very calm section for like a bridge or something like that. And then after that, I will show you how I made a beat to the sample. So yeah, make sure to stay till the end. Please make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel and if i want to get some of my kits the links for that is in the description use code ch50 for 50 percent off it will only be active till next sunday so yeah make sure to cop them right now and you can send back beats and samples made with my kids so i can send them out the email for that is in the disclaimer in the kids so yeah make sure to get that and don't forget to leave a like subscribe and to comment something and yeah guys let's go so i started off with this lead which is called dusa and it's out of the artillery volume 2 i just left it how it was and laid down this pretty simple pattern if you see right here I basically just had this right here, which is just these triplets going up all the time. And then I pitched everything basically up by one semitone, but with the snap to scale thing on NFL. And then I pitched it up one again with the snap to scale thing. Then I just copied it over. I laid down this pretty simple top line right here, just like some lead notes. And then I just copied these triplets up just for some more texture and to make the sample sound more full. That's really all I did. And I ran it out, but that's something I will show you after I previewed this pattern. So just said you can get a hang of what I was doing. And first of all, the first pattern is sounding like this. And I had no effects on this lead, but then I ran it out as you can see right here. And I put the mode to stretch, the D click mode to generic, and I reversed it. But I chopped it up that the root note still stays the same. And I put it on the first mixer track. And on this mixer track, there's the simple shaper box 2 with the sidechain. Then this Valhalla vintage verb where I tweaked the mix, the decay, and the low cut. Then the simple soothe on its hard signal into depth to 3.0. And this simple EQ where I just cut out some of the lows and duck the frequency that I didn't really like. And now the ran it out pattern is sounding like this. So yeah, that was basically just there to get like a little bounce going and to make the sample a little bit more bouncy. And then I used Analog Lab again and I used the Becoming Human preset. I think it's out of the same bank, I'm not sure though. And I laid down this pretty simple arpeggio, which basically goes up from E to B. And I just copied it over all the time for these 8 bars. And what I did was just basically picking the like one note at the end and creating like a delay effect. And that's all I did. It's pretty, pretty simple, but it makes like a huge difference in the sample. And the finished pattern is something like this. Then for the effects on the sound, I have this RC20 where I basically just had it on for the wobble and the EQ. Then the simple fresh air where I had this mid air to 19% and the high air to 32%. This Valhalla Vintage Web where I tweaked the mix, the decay and the low cut. Then this simple soothe on its default settings. This simple EQ where I just cut out some of the lows and the frequency that was a little bit too harsh. And I had a 27% in stereo. Then for the next thing, I had the science preset from Analog Lab. And all I really just did was laying down these simple chords, which are basically just these chords right here. But then I just copied them up and that's all I I did and it's a very simple pattern i basically just took the notes from the first pattern and put them in chords but i removed the middle note right here as you can see and right there and right there and that's all i did i copied it up and it sounds like this
And for the effects on there, I had the same effects on there that I had on the first rendered out pattern. Then for the second part of the sample, I have this vocal from Splice right here, which was in D minor, so I pitched it up by two because I was in E minor. I put the mode to stretch, de click the mode to generic, I increased the volume by a little bit, and I put it on a six mixer track. And as you can see, the original vocal would have looked like this, but I chopped it up because it was a little bit too much for the sample. So I just chopped it up and played with the volume right here. So I basically just let the volume fade out and that's all I did and the chopped up vocal is sounding like this. And for the effects on these vocals, I have this Fruity Delay 2 with these settings. Then this Fruity Reverb 2 with these settings. I just basically played with the wet, the decay and the stereo separation. Then this Simple Soothe where I had it on a soft setting. So basically on its default settings, but I just double click this right here. Then this Simple Fruity Parametric EQ 2 where I just cut out some of the lows and ducked some of the highs. And I had a 12% in stereo. Then for the next thing, I used the Morty preset out of Analog Lab. And I basically just laid down this E to B again, but just in a slower pace. So it basically just creates a transition into the third and the seventh bar and it's very simple but it makes a huge difference and it's good for like a little sample breakdown when the sample gets like a little bit more like calm as i said in the intro and this little lead or like the synth is sounding like this And for the effects on the synth, I have this Valhalla Vintage Warp where I tweak the mix, the decay, the pretty lay and the low cut. Then this Simply Q where it basically added on its default settings, I just turned the knob from soft to hard. And then this Fruity Parametric EQ where I just cut out some of the lows. And then before I show you all the mastering chain, I have this bass which is called Clean Sub from Analog Lab again. And I basically just laid down the root notes from the first and the third pattern, which are the main root notes for the sample. And that's basically the bass line, that's all I did. It's more than enough because I just wanted to add like a little bass line and the finished bass line is sounding like this. Then for the effects on this bass, I have this soothe on its hard setting into depth to 9.1. Then this arc compressor stereo from waves where the threshold to minus 16.3, the ratio to 1.64 and the gain to 2.7. Then this decapitator on its default preset, I just played with the drive, the tone and the style. Then this fully fast distortion where I had the mix to 35% and the rest was on its default settings. Then this simply Q where I just cut out some of the muddy lows and I had it 100% in mono. And now for the most important part, which is my mastering chain and it makes a huge difference which you will hear in a second. I have this Apex Vintage Exciter with the Dark Mix preset, this Chroma Tape Serial with the Mastering Clean and Open preset, this Every World Vinyl Serial with the Creamy Strings preset but I turn off the noise, the crackle and the clicks, then this L1 Limiter just to make the sample louder, this Sound Shifter Pitch Serial from Waves where I pitch the whole sample down by 2, and then this Simply Q where I just duck some of the lows and some of the highs just to make the sample sound a little bit more vintage. And now we'll show you all the sample with and without the Mastering Chain, but first of all this is the sample without the Mastering Chain. And now this is the sample with the mastering chain. So now for the beat breakdown, the first thing I obviously did was dragging in the sample and I just left it how it was. I put the mode to stretch and the declick mode to generic. Then what I did was laying down this pretty simple and spacious height pattern, which you can see has a lot of space, as I just said. And it's very, very bouncy because I let it play with this rim right here and the snare right there. So it goes back and forth with these two things. So I'm gonna show you all these three sounds right away. And the snare pattern looks like this and the rim pattern looks like this. So I'm gonna just take these three right here and just put them like this so y'all can see what's happening. And these three together are uh, sounding like this.
And it really sounds like that that doesn't make sense at all because it's like really, really weird when you're first here. But if I put the snare or like the like clap with it, it will make much more sense. So this is the pattern I laid down. And these four sounds together are sounding like this. And by the way, y'all can get these sounds from the Evolution Drum Kit. The link for that is in the description. And as I said, make sure to use the code CH50 for 50% off till next Sunday. And then I laid down this pretty simple open ed pattern with the Rex Edit open ed. And it sounds like this. And then for the most important thing, I have the Spins 808, where I just turned the out knob to 22% and I put the envelope like this. I just laid down a pretty bouncy pattern on the root notes from the sample or like from the bass line. And as you can see, I have some higher notes, some higher notes right there, some slight notes right here. And I just placed some notes where I think they will fit because the other patterns sound like a little bit weird, but it all makes sense now when you hear the 808 pattern with it. So this is the 808 pattern and the finish beat with the 808 pattern and everything else is sounding like this. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel. It would really, really help me. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my kit store in the description. With the code CH50, you can get 50% off right now. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my Instagram and my Twitter. The links for that is in the description as well. And as I said, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and to comment. And to turn on the post notifications because I will stream a lot from now on. So yeah, don't forget to do that. And with that being said, thank you for this crazy support. And yeah guys, see y'all.